Welcome back. Welcome back to episode who knows what of bus conversion. Gilligan Phantom conversational conversion. Nah, didn't make sense. We are working on the bus. And I'm gonna show you how to, nah, not how to, but how we trimmed out our windows. Oh God. So the window frame is gone. It's wood now. Pretty easy task. Just have to cut these all to size. Gotta screw them in, gotta make them look nice. Let's get started. So I gotta sand down all these surfaces. I gotta sand everything, really. Oh yeah, real quick. I wanna tell you my thoughts on sanding because I've sanded a lot of wood, actually, believe it or not. Um, the way I see it, by the way, random orbital sanders, let me get mine. This right here is a random orbital sander. It's a great tool. I use this for almost all of my sanding. The only thing it's not great at is getting into like a detailed, like a line spot. I also have, this is called a mouse. It's just a little bit more detail oriented. So I'm using this. This is my take on sandpaper. Basically you've got a million grits, right? Well, 60 is for removing material. If I wanna make two pieces of wood flush with each other, I would use 60 grit. The 120 is necessary to remove the marks that the 60 grit sandpaper actually makes. Then you've got 220, and 220, it removes a little bit of the marks that the 120 makes, and it also smooths and polishes the wood. So real quick, I'm gonna show you before and after 220. Here's before, you see it doesn't look too great. So here's what it looks like now. You can see more of the grain, so to speak. It's smooth to the touch. And if I get it wet, you'll see what it actually will look like when it's done. So this is just water, but basically when it's done, it'll look like that. That's how we're trimming out a window. Hi, Justin. Let's do something on the bus. Okay. All right, Nate, did all the trim for these windows. Every single one is done on this side, except for the ones over here where it's gonna be but it's in the kitchen, a little complicated. Over here, I'm almost done. Cinematic roll. Use some tech screws to screw the plywood to the bus frame. And then we use GRK fine trim head screws. Attach our face pieces. Voila, now we have trim. I bought these five quarter dimensional pieces. We're gonna pocket screw them into here. We're gonna screw them into here. We're gonna screw them into here so that our um, kitchen cabinet rail can screw to it and our kitchen cabinets will be nice and secure and our countertop will be able to sit on top of this. We're gonna build some kind of a backsplash on top of that. Sound good, buddy, buddy? Yeah. All right, so we've made pocket holes over there. We've countersunk some holes right here. And now let's get this thing screwed in. Ah, look, we broke. Oh my gosh. This seam, well, the plywood doesn't stick together. I think that if I had doubled up my furring strips, I would have um, solved this problem because I would have had more attachment points. It would have pulled together nicer. You can see I tried to staple it together. It didn't work. So what we're doing is we're using wood glue, pushing it along the seam. What I'm gonna do next, I use a board to push this up. And now I clean this glue off as best as I can. And we wait for like 30 minutes. Okay. We move on to the next one. Yes. 